All right, guys, no, the title of this video was not a typo. Today we are talking about why the knife you're carrying right now probably sucks. Let's talk about it. So this video is a video that I've wanted to create for some time, and it's a little bit hard. I'm going to try to stay as short as possible in the summary of this, but essentially I've been thinking about this or trying to make a video like this for a while. And, you know, whether you're a knife collector or if you're a knife collector, that's not necessarily a bad thing, and collecting knives for sentimental reasons is one thing, but I feel like a lot of people that I encounter in the EDC knife community come at me from or carry specific knives for the emotion or the particular brand or style or blade shape that evokes a certain type of lifestyle and oftentimes this is very poignant with things like buoys or maybe even k-bar knives as a whole or maybe it's another brand like emerson and oftentimes these um, brands or blade shapes or different types of things have an extensive background or maybe history to them. They were used by mountain men, they were used in combat, they have seen so much use that a lot of times people carry these knives or own them or desire these blades specifically because of that background and they want to feel like they are a part of that community or they are in some sense of a form carrying this knife because of that past um, that the blade, the brand, or some other form carries with it. And unfortunately, I think that this is a very misguided approach to things like everyday carry and even survival. If you guys have noticed, many of the survival knives that I use regularly, that I field, that I employ, are not the hottest, not the most typical knives. And I actually really enjoy that because it forces me to learn how to use any blade in any situation. But on top of that too, sometimes you'll end up finding that maybe things like the Bowie knife, maybe things like the Emerson's are not the best blades to use, even though they may have, as far as a brand or history, an extensive past in the wilderness or in combat or in different applications. And that kind of gets me back to the moral of the intro, the title, and essentially the core of this video. Why are the knives that you're carrying right now, or why do they probably suck? Well, the reality is oftentimes when we carry a blade for its sentimental purposes, or we, you know, envy a knife because, man, you want that Emerson because it has all of the tactical, you know, features that made it such a reliable knife in combat or in wilderness use or you know, frontiersmen were able to employ this type of blade shape like the buoy itself. Uh, you know, people end up settling for these types of knives and these types of designs because that's what people in the past used. And there's one thing that when I think about this subject as a whole that I'm often reminded of, and that was a comment that I received on my YouTube many, many years ago. But essentially the comment, I, I can't remember it verbatim, but it went something along the lines that, you know, if mountain men of the 17th and 18th century had, um, and this was, you know, uh, discussing on flint and steel usage, if they had had matches, if they had had the mountain men of the 17th and 18th century, had had matches, ferro rods, lighters, practically anything but what they were using, the flint and steel at the time, they would be using those tools. And so I think that that is a really good example of that oftentimes, you know, we look back at earlier generations of Americans and humanity as a whole. And definitely, I don't think everything has improved as technology has advanced. And of course, you know, in society, there are certain things that are not as good as they used to be. But when it comes to the technology of knives, blade steels, um, blade shapes, blade designs, ultimately, I think that a lot of people sometimes do themselves an injustice in, you know, picking a particular brand picking a particular blade style, blade shape, um, blade steel, merely because they're going for something like a buoy or because something like the K-Bar was used extensively in World War II. Now, this doesn't mean that something like the K-Bar is not a solid knife, and it doesn't mean that the World War II um, people, the people in World War II, the troops that used them, did not use them because they were the best available options. It 
by choosing a knife purely because of its representative form or you know what it means or what has meant to people in the past this can lead to choosing a suboptimal knife and while certainly not everything in newer or more advanced this more advanced generation or culture is always better uh, certainly there are a lot of advancements in knives whether it be blade shapes blade steels or different things and ultimately at the end of the day i think the core of the conversation is truly kind of harkening back to you know if the people of the past had availability to newer technology better knives better blade steels shapes designs and the information we have gathered throughout the generations they would certainly choose these knives hands down so going with a knife because a certain operator or going with a you know brand because a certain you know person or historical figure used it in a context that seems to be legendary or incredible in some form or fashion is often misguided and what I try to recommend to a lot of people outside of surely collecting knives for the sake of collecting knives is to choose knives that work for you that are functional and have the best value to them whether that be you know in the design and how it fits into your life or in blade materials blade shapes and not always going with classical knives uh, these classic designs and stuff are not bad and once again they will serve you but modern tools oftentimes do the same thing better and once again understand that these are just tools doing a task that you need them to do oftentimes if you had to defend yourself against an animal another human or if you were thrown into a wilderness survival situation these newer knives with newer technology are often going to serve you much better than an older knife with older technology older blade steel older blade shapes now once again like i said k bars are still nice i still have one in my collection but I definitely, as my mainline users, tend to go with newer knives. And oftentimes this may, uh, or this is oftentimes the reason why on my channel you'll see knives that maybe aren't as popular, maybe not as typical as some of what you guys are used to seeing. Bowie shaped blades are great and all, but, uh, you know, buoy shaped blades, K-Bar, and many other historical things are great and worth remembering, but for day-to-day -day use, I choose stuff that is a little bit newer, a little bit higher performance, and just offers my life a better value. Anyways, guys, this is why you're carrying the wrong knife, and this is what you should look for in newer knives. This is what you should look for in knives as a whole. Anyways, guys, God bless, and I'm out.